Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and today we're doing a critique on Taylor the Dog 1. So, like I always say, do not go and watch anybody in this video or anybody that I mentioned. It's loosely based on my opinion. And let's get into the video. As I'm scrolling down, uh, it looks pretty simple. At least, you have, you have some... Your bio is pretty good. I'm not gonna say anything weird about that. But besides that, let's look through the gallery. Sorry that I didn't talk there for a second. So, first thing I notice is little white spots around certain areas. Like, especially where the line art like is but even on the outside now i don't know what program you do use but what i would recommend depending on what you use try to make sure that there is no white spots i know with certain programs that's kind of hard to do but if yours has layers, try to make sure that you don't color on the same layer as the line art because then that kind of screws up the whole thing and doesn't really put the piece well together. The colors, I'm not going to say anything bad because it looks pretty good. But besides the whole, the white spot, the edges around that are white, it looks pretty good i guess so let's move on to some more of what we see now with this image i want to try and get proportions right when it comes to body types because not everybody's going to have that kind of pinched look with the waist because some people are more like straight up and down. Some do have curves and all that. But you have to make sure everything's proportionate so that it works well with each other and doesn't look a little bit off. Like I said, little white lines. Not gonna think about this because I don't I don't know. It's just not not me. Uh With this, I do understand that some people do walk on their toes. I kind of do. But if you're going to draw like this, don't add like where the toes would be. It kind of looks weird. And then even along this area too. Don't leave open spaces because that does not look good. Like I said, again, there are still some white spots that needs to be covered and yeah let's keep looking on through this one's actually cool because you did a black and white kind of scale oh, pretty good this i will say is amazing like i can hardly see any white spots so try and aim for something more like this because then it won't I mean, it won't look bad. The colors will still work well together. It's just you want it to look professional. But, yeah. I guess there's not really much I can say. Colors are pretty good. Proportions need a bit of work on along that too. But besides all of that, there's not much I can really say that's bad, I guess, is what people would say. Just make sure that you don't leave any white spots in any more of your art. Because that kind of makes people kind of differ away from the piece. You want it to look more smooth and clean. So that people, like, I don't know. 
But like I said, besides all of that, the art is pretty good. So, yeah. Like I said, I'll end the video here. And, yeah. I'm sorry if you can hear my stepdad. He's working on stuff still. But besides all of that, I'll see you guys in the next video.